Well, it's been difficult. I mean, this is 40 years that I've been doing this. For Cannon and Catavalos funeral homeowner George Catavalos, the idea that scam artists are going after grieving families of COVID-19 victims is unimaginable. We're shocked. I mean, it, it's, it, it's something you don't think would happen. But FEMA is not going to reach out to you to let you know about this benefit. But according to the Better Business Bureau, it's happening. It's, it's a recent benefit that FEMA is offering to families who lost loved ones to COVID-19. Sue McConnell with the BBB Serving Greater Cleveland says it's a reimbursement of up to $9,000. McConnell says scammers are contacting families by email, text, and phone and offering to register them for the federal assistance. By posing as FEMA and asking for personal information, reaching out to people who had lost loved ones and trying to get these individuals to divulge bank account information, personal identification information. So how are scam artists finding these families? Well, according to the BBB, scammers are actively searching social media sites for any personal posts about loved ones who passed away. The names of your children or grandchildren, where you went to school, um, where you live, Scam art is taking advantage of already vulnerable families. That's why Catavalo says his funeral home in Cleveland is doing extra to help protect them. We've been walking our families through the FEMA reimbursement process. So if there are any issues, we directly reach out to them and eliminate the scammers from taking advantage of them. It's terrible. Well, anyone who receives a suspicious call should report it immediately to the FEMA helpline. You can find their number online at cbs4indy.com links.